on September 1st, 1939, the German forces invaded the country of Poland, kicking off the start of the Second World War. World War II would officially end on September 2nd, 1945, six years and one day later. The Japanese and the Americans would sign the surrender treaty to the Axis on board one of their battleships in Tokyo Bay. World War II brought 72 million lives down with it, along, along with that millions and billions of money that had to be used to repair the countries that were ravaged and destroyed by war. But in this video, I'm not going to be talking about dates or numbers. We're going to be talking about people, individual people that were either fighting on the front lines, high up in the skies, or were just simply bystanders that were caught up in the action or sent to POW camps to work and later die. This video is going to be about the memorial and the remembrance of the people that fought and died in the world's most bloodiest conflict ever known. Now some of the people that might be watching this will be like, well yeah, we should remember the only the allied forces, you know, the guys that ended the war and brought, brought peace and justice back to the peoples of Europe and other occupied countries. Well, yes, we should remember those that fought for our, our country and for the better good. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't remember and honor those that fought on the other side. The people that were in charge of many, many dark part periods of war were people that were in charge, such as commanders, officers, generals leaders, but we're going to be remembering the soldiers and those who fought in this war and those that were, you know, that fell, civilians, soldiers, people that just didn't know what the war was about. Many didn't know what their country was going to do, why they're in the war in the first place. And this is why I'm going to be honoring and remember, we got to remember and honor those soldiers because they were just fighting for their families and their nation. They were fighting for their nation's flag, but they didn't know if they were fighting on, a, on the bad side or the good side. Due to this, we should remember all the people that died and fought in this war, civilians and soldiers alike, no matter what they look like, what race they were, what f flag they fought under and fell under. We should remember those as human beings, other people, you know. Like, I mean, these are people that were fighting a war after all. They're all humans, no matter what. They're all, you know, like us. They're, they're the same to us. So they should be given the same respect to those soldiers who flew under their, like, your guys' flag. For example, I'm, an, I'm a proud American, and... Again, I greatly remember all those people that fought under our flag. I honor and respect them, but I also respect the people that not only fought alongside us, but also the people that, you know, didn't fight, like, they didn't fight um, with us. They fought against us, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't be treated with disrespect or anything. Take Germany, for example. During the late stages of the war... They resulted in mass conscription, such as the, Volks, the, Zol, the Volkssturm, which was a people's militia, completely bent upon people that were conscripted, men, old, old men, teenagers, boys, all of them, recruited into a Nazi, just forced upon a Nazi ideology that they didn't really, like, support. So these people should be treated with the same respect, and... Due to this, I feel like, you know, we should honor all those people, bad or good. We should remember them all. And I want to take this opportunity. I want to ask all the people that are watching this to please give a moment of silence for all those great, good people that fought under their flag trying to protect their family and their country. Please, 
I would like a moment of silence in, in order to remember those that fell in this horrible war. Thank you. There's one last thing that I want to tell everyone that's watching this before, you know, we end the video. I just want to thank you, all the military veterans, World War II or not, that are still alive today and are still serving their country or, you know, they're just retired. I just thank you for your service and all, all this great stuff that you did and, you know, all that. But also, for the poor, unfortunate souls that lost their lives in not only World War II, but many other wars that came before and after that. I just hope that you will forever rest in heavenly peace. This is Soldier Do Gaming. Thank you for watching, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>